Hey, Amelia? Oh, it's you. Amelia, you can't keep hiding Cora from me. I really messed up. I've grown so much. I'm ready for her commitment. As if I believe those lies? Taylor, you really hurt her, and I'm not sure if Cora's ready to face you again. Please. Cora, I'm so sorry. It may not be today, or tomorrow, but hope one day you'll be able to forgive me. I want to give you a second chance. Why are you still wearing those bandages? The doctor said you could take them off. But I'm scared. What? My scars. I'm scared of being reminded how easily jealousy corrupted me. But you defeated it. Come on, take off the bandages. Your scars may not be as scary as you're playing them out to be. Here, let me help you. See? Nothing to be worried about. Thanks, Amelia. You're welcome, Cora. Thank you for everything. Um, you're welcome? Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm just really thankful I'm still alive. Just my medicine making me feel all weird. Alright then. Look, I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. Why do I feel overwhelmed with feelings? I need to see Taylor. I need to make sure these feelings of thankfulness and not feelings, feelings. Sorry, Amelia, I need to know. Perfect. I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever needed, needed All I ever need is here with you Babe, there is this place where we can go Where it's always shining like the snow Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know Sorry, but your girlfriend, Mr. Deschamps. She wasn't. Well, officially at least. I see. You know, I can try something that's entirely experimental. No! What? I mean, um, you, you can't. She isn't awake. It's not right. Well, I mean, there is someone who can consent for her. Someone who she named her emergency contact and her final say. I know who that is. Jeanette McKenzie. This wouldn't be the best for her! Please, sir, I'm her doctor. She's a strong woman and she has a high chance of survival. But... Don't fight with me. No, I'll be calling Jeanette in the morning to come and meet me, and I wish you not to be involved. But... End of discussion, Mr. Deschamps.
Let's hope Jeanette makes the best decision. Vora? Emil, hello. Vora, what the heck are you doing here? I've been keeping her company. Company? I've been here almost every night and haven't seen you once. Not physical company. Goddess powers, Emil. Wait, so you've been... Able to talk with her? Yes. Alright, then answer me this. What's up with the getup? Nothing. I'm just blending in with my mortal surroundings. Do you want to speak to her? As you wish, Emil. Now, lay down. Are you ready? All right. Vora, what's going on? Relax. Where are we? This is more depressing than my graduation. In Haiki's consciousness, she's been in quite a deal of pain. Vora, you're here for your daily visit. I must say it gets lonely. Hey! Emil! Emil, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. <laughs> okay, relax. I, I've missed you too. We, we all have. I know. I may be unconscious, but I can still hear everything. It's been making me, well, actually, reminding me what I'm fighting for because, trust me, this hurts. This hurts so much. I'm sorry, Aiki. I'm glad that you're moving on with your fight, though. <clears throat> Heike? I'm okay. When I wake up, we will have that talk. <laughs> I love you. I... You don't need to say it. I feel myself getting stronger every day. And hopefully you'll get to say it back really soon. Heike... As I said, don't worry about me. I feel I'm almost able to wake up, so just stop worrying about me, Emil. Go sleep in your own bed for once. I promise I'll be fine. Emil, it's time to go. I don't want to leave her, though. Not now, and not again. Emil, please, she's all right. This place is going to become dark fast. We need to leave fast. Let's go. Vora, what did you do? Do you want to see her again? But... Why does this hurt so much? Emil, I haven't been human for long. I don't know what you feel. I just know you miss her. Thank you. I guess I should be grateful I just got to see her. In some sort of physical capacity. 
You're welcome. It's just the corruption trying to fight back is a horrible scene. So I wanted to get you out of there before it furthered your trauma. No. Get away. Oh? You think I'm done? That's so cute, Descendant. This will forever be an internal fight. You will never win, and you know that. Oh, but darling. Don't but darling me. Come on, Hikari. It must hurt that your mother never told you about your ancestry. She was only trying to protect me. <gasps> you won't win! Sheesh. Such a stubborn girl, you know. This bores me. It is more fun to fight unfair. Good luck getting yourself out of that one, Hikari. Now, do I want to be predictable or totally cheesy? Grand romantic gesture it is. What in the world? Cora, it's freezing cold. What are you doing? I came to see you! Taylor, let me in! Then buzz in. That, the rock's at my balcony. Sorry, I just wanted to be romantic. More like lovesick crazy. Just let me inside. Alright, meet me at the front door. Glad you arrived so quickly. You're welcome. What did you want to discuss with me? An experiment. No. What? You aren't there. She can recover on her own, and I've already been warned not to allow experiments happen to her. We already all know that if I let you, she might be more vulnerable, so no. I see. Well then, Miss McKenzie, guess I have nothing more for you then. Good. I know she'll be able to recover herself. Alright, well, your wishes, miss. Thank you. Please wake up, your doctor seems really shady. Sheesh. Never give up, won't you? 
All right. Guess magic won't end you. Ooh. I know. What? I'm getting bored here. Easy fight. First one to the heart wins the body. Simple enough, right? I... Oh. Come on, Hikari. I know you want to see your sweet, precious meal again. It's so pathetic. Alright. Then let's do it. Fine. Cowboy style. I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Listen to 